Hey guys, so this is a quick one on how I color faces. Uh, someone asked me to, to do like a paint demo. So I'll show you how I do it. I have three meshes here. I have the face, I have the lashes, and then I have the eyes. Okay, so obviously first things first, you wanna choose the paint color for the face. So I'm gonna go right here and just tap this circle. And I have the, uh, I have the color chosen, but usually I just scroll through. I'll put it at about a mid color. And I'll kinda just go through and I'll find the color I want, like so. And then I'll, I'll adjust the roughness. I never want the I never want it to look plasticky, so I always air more towards rough. A little bit of a little bit of shine is usually pretty good. The eyes I usually do a glossy white, so I go all the way to white and I turn the roughness all the way down, so that will make your eyes glossy. And then for the lashes, let's see, I just go black and I use a tube tool to make those. I go black and then I bring the roughness all the way up so that there's no glare on the lashes. I want them to be completely black. As you can see, the light is already casting a shadow in there, but I like to make certain things darker. So I'm going to hit the paint. I always grab the color of the skin and I go a little darker like that. And I'm just going to add a new layer and I'm going to label it darker. So a new layer is great because you can paint and then, you know, if you want to change the opacity or something, then you can do that. So using a layer is very, very useful. So just make sure you're on your layer, make sure you label your layers because they can get out of hand really quickly. And I keep symmetry on. I've kept the face uh, symmetrical this whole time. So I don't have to do everything twice. This is essentially just to enhance the uh, the shadow. So there's a few things you can do now. You can smooth, but that will affect your, your mesh as well. Uh, or you can smudge. Smudge just affects the paint. Let's do a little smooth. We'll do a little smooth. We'll live dangerously. So I'll just do a little smooth just to kind of make that look a bit more natural in there. And then I will lower the opacity so that it's I don't want it I don't want it too I just want it a little bit I want it very subtle so when I do when I paint things I want them very subtle so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little button here which is gonna merge that with the base so now it's just one color so the next thing we're gonna do with the head is I'm gonna add a new, another new layer so this will be the first layer because we, we um, combined the last two so I'm gonna name this one red I'm going to go to paint and this one I'm just going to add some redness and redness is sort of you know that's sort of like you know we have blood in our bodies and the redness just kind of gives certain certain parts uh, a little just they just look more realistic like if you look at humans you know the noses will be redder the cheeks might be redder the ears might be redder so that's all we're going to do here did I lower the opacity I lowered the opacity because um It'll, it'll look funny if you don't. It's still, it already looks funny. Let's lower this, let's lower the uh, intensity. So the intensity's lowered. So I like to just go and just give the nose a little redness. It really gives it like a very, it changes the whole look of everything. I do that, I do it in my illustrations as well. It really makes a big, 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 big difference. And you can look up uh, facial banding or facial color banding, uh, things like that. I'm not sure what the actual technical term is, but you can look up a lot of this stuff if you want to get, you can put more colors in the face. There's a lot you can do uh, and it's very, very useful and I actually use it a lot. Um, okay, the ears nice and red. I think that looks pretty good. And sometimes I just add a little bit to other parts of the face just to give it a little flavor. Add a little down here. Just to give it a little flavor. Okay, I actually think that looks pretty good. And I, I don't even know if I have to, 
I probably don't even have to smooth it or lower the opacity. I think it looks good as is. But if we need to, we can always come back and lower the opacity. So that's the second step. I add some red, some red to it. Uh, for the eyes, let's tap on a new layer. And we're going to name it P1 because this is pupil 1. Sometimes I do like multiple pupils. So let's go to black and we want to go to, we want to turn the roughness all the way down. We'll turn the opacity all the way up. And I'm still on symmetry. So one thing that I see a lot of people do when they make eyes is they'll make eyes like in the middle and it looks, it looks bad. It doesn't, it doesn't look, it doesn't look good. Trust me, it does not look good. Uh, when you do eyes, you want to make sure that the, your, your eyes are inward, closer to the, closer to the inside. So I'm going to subdivide this once, the eyes, because it's still, it's very, very, uh, pixelated. So let's subdivide this once. That's better. So I'm doing it in the middle, but I'm airing on the side of, you know, like on towards the inside. Let's see if I can make this a little better. And maybe we'll just, let's see if we can smooth out the edge a little bit. Okay, something like that. So for the lips, we make sure we tap on the face. We add a new layer, and I usually do up lip. So for the upper lip, I grab the skin again, the skin color, and then I make it a little bit darker. And then I grab paint, and I just paint the lip area. So, I think that looks pretty good. So you can take smooth, you can just smooth out the edges, just so it looks a little more natural. And it's easier if you have some symmetry on, because it just does it. So it just darkens up that upper lip. So next, for the bottom lip, let's make sure that this is smooth. So let's, let's make a new layer. And I usually do low lip. And I bring it down underneath. Um, I'm going to go to the base and just smooth this out a little bit because it looks like you can see some whatever that is. Okay, so we go to low lip. And so this lip is usually like a like kind of pinkish. So I'm just going to go to like a like a pink. It doesn't look too bad like against his skin. It's gonna look weird at first. So I'll do something like this. It's very pink, but it, that's why we're that's why we're using the layers. Um, and that's why we put this layer underneath so it doesn't affect the uh, the upper lip. So now I just go around. I just go around my lip like that. And obviously it looks terrible, but that's okay. We'll fix it. So we want to do something like that. You can use your eraser if you need to clean it up. And I don't want, I don't want this to go down too, too far. Maybe something like that. And then we go ahead and take smooth and just very lightly, we can even turn the smooth brush down. Just smooth it out against that lip. So it looks a little more, a little more natural. So that's pretty good. He has a very, very pink lip, but the beauty with that is we can just lower the opacity, and it becomes more of a natural, more of a, more of a natural looking pink. So something like that. I think that looks good. And one last thing I forgot: if you want to really make it, um, give it a little kick. Then you can take this color of the lip. Let's go to up lip. So we'll go make sure we're on our face. We'll go to the up lip layer. We want to take this color. Let's go to paint. Grab that color and then make it a little glossy. Lower the uh, intensity because we don't need too, too much. 
but you just want to give it a slight a slight little bit of gloss See, just to just to give it a little bit of a of a different texture. So you can do that. And also sometimes I do it to the nose as well. So I'll take the nose, I'll grab that color, I'll just make it a little bit more shiny. Like I have a very shiny nose. So that's kind of why one of the reasons that I do it. And I just add a little shine to the edge. Um, it's nice to have different, it's nice to have a few different, uh, so, so sort of surface textures. So when you look at a different angle, it kind of has a little bit of a, a little bit of a pop. Uh, I'll show you one more quick thing. When I do uh, eyebrows, so I'll make another layer on the head. So new layer, and we'll label it eyebrow. And we'll just go to black. And we don't want it to, so we'll put the roughness up a little bit. And now we'll just go to clay. We're on our new layer, we're on our eyebrow layer. And then you can sort of see, whoops, make sure you tap this so that there's that not the line across. So then you can just see here, and just give him some nice, give him some nice thick eyebrows. Those look terrible. We'll give it one more try. Maybe we want to flatten this. Oop, maybe we want to flatten this a little bit and put the eyebrows there. Let's try that. Maybe we'll make them a little more square. So lots of different eye options for eyebrows too. And you can always smooth it. If you want it to look a little more natural, you can just smooth around the sides, something like that. You can take crease, crease is one of my favorite brushes. You can take crease and you can just make some, oop, pinch, that's what I meant, Pin uh, crease. I accidentally chose cre uh, pinch. So take crease and you can do some creases in it if you want to if you want to give it some texture. Something like that, you can give it a little texture. And last but not least, uh, you can add some some creases to the face just to sort of bring out the face a little bit more. So let's make a uh well, let's make a new layer. And we'll just label it creases. So new layer on the face um, on the face mesh. We'll grab we'll grab the skin color again. We'll go darker. And maybe we want to add a crease around the nose. Remember uh, symmetry still on. If we want to do a crease around the nose, something like that. If you'd rather it not be not be that harsh. You can take off the color and then you can just add the, whoops, in the wrong uh, tool. Story of my life. So you can do a crease and then you can just smooth it to, to sort of make it look a little more natural, like so. You can smooth around this, the, the side so there's no like artifacts or anything. And then we'll do a crease for the inside of the mouth. So we wanna make it darker here I'm going to use the color, use the darker color. And let's take, let's grab the color of the upper lip and make that even a little bit darker. So now we'll use the crease. We make sure our color is selected. And we'll do a little pop right there, maybe lighter. And then just follow that center line like so. Maybe we can make this a little, a little darker there. So something like that. Let's grab this color. Let's go a little bit darker. And let's see if we can just make a, see if we can just pull that out a little bit more. Smooth it. Nice. 
So that's pretty much it. That's how I make uh, faces. The last thing, uh, since you're here, I would choose clay and choose subtract. And then you can sort of color in the underside of the nose. Make that really dark. Turn the roughness really up, really high up. And you can color in the inside of the nose and you can smooth it. Just make the inside of the nose nice and dark. All right, so that's about it. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, have fun coloring your character faces. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you in the next video. If you're interested in 3D modeling, then this is a great place to start. What's up guys, my name is Dave Reed, AKA Drug Free Dave. So you may know me as a 2D illustrator, cute animals, things like that. But this class today is very, very exciting. It's something that I've been working on a lot and that's 3D modeling. So if you wanna get into 3D modeling, this is a great beginner course for someone who's never done 3D, doesn't understand 3D, and just wants to start fresh, start from scratch. And let me tell you, it is so addicting, it's so fun. It actually helps my 2D illustration. It helps me think of things in 3D because you're actually working in 3D. So we're gonna use Nomad Sculpt. It's an amazing 3D application. It's only $15, it's, a, it's just a one-time buy, so it's not like a, a prescription. Prescription? Prescription? Subscription. It's not a subscription. Uh, I use it on the iPad Pro 2021. Go to Nomad Scope website, make sure it works, make sure you can download it, obviously, before you take this class, because I don't want to get you all excited and then you're not able to do it. Again, it's worth the $15. It's amazing. I think I know you're going to love it once you get started.